So the question is that whenever you are creating a report using Power BI Desktop, at that time you should definitely work with this data modeling part as well, correct? So as you can see here, this is the table A and this is the table B, right? And table A contains three columns that is name, cell state and amount and table B contains two columns that is city and name, okay? Let me show you in this table view so that it will be easy to understand for you. So as you can see, this is the table A, okay? And it contains three columns that is cell state, okay? Then name and amount, all right? Then this is table B it contain two column that is name and city so in between these two column this name column is common okay so now to create any visualizations or to create any report first of all we have to work with this data modeling it means first of all we have to create the relationship between these two tables correct so as i have already told this name column is common in both the table a and table b right so when I want to create the relationship between table A and table B on the basis of this name column, okay, at that time facing the problem like many to many relationship occur, right? This relationship has cardinality many to many. This could only be used if it is expected that neither column contain unique value and that the significantly different behavior of many to many relationship, okay? So here you can see this is a table A and this is a table B and we have selected the name column in both the table to create the relationship but it is showing the warning message okay. So if I will click on this OK button at that time it will create a relationship between the table A and table B and that relationship is based on many to many relationship okay. Here you can see these are the many to many relationship right because both the side it's showing the star value correct and why it is happening many to many because he in this table a the name value is repeated and same way in the table b the name value is also repeated right that's why it is showing many to many relationship between the name columns in between the table a and table b okay so as we all know many to many relationship between the tables in data modeling during creating the power bi report is not good for our convenience right so we have to convert it to one to many or one to one relationship between these two tables, right? So how can you do that? So for that, we have to create a intermediate table in between these two tables, okay? And that intermediary table is called as the breeze table, okay? And that breeze table contain only one column and that is called as the name column, okay? Why it should be named because in this table A and table B we are connecting these two table with the help of this name column right. So we need another table intermediary table which should contain only one column that is called as the name okay and that contain only the unique name which is available in both the table alright. So let's see how we can do this okay. For that first of all you have to go to this report view then click on this modeling tab okay then here you can see options called as the new table right so just click on this new table and then rename it as breeze underscore table okay you can give any name all right then equal to after that here you have to use a dex functions that is distinct okay here you can see this is the distinct dex function and this distinct dex functions take only one argument okay so it returns a one column table that contain the distinct value in a column all right so here we can give the argument as the column name so you can take the help of any table okay to get the distinct value of the name column so here i can write name okay and this is the name column of the table a and this is the name column of the table b so let me take the name column of the table a okay then click enter and close the bracket okay then again click enter and here you can see we have successfully created a new table that is called as the breeze table and if you want to see what data it contains then click on this table view then click on this breeze table and here you can see this is only one column that contain the name okay and these are the distinct value which is available in the name column of the table a and the name column of the table b okay 
so in this way we can create a bridge table for table a and table b which should contain only one column that is name and it contain only the distinct value which is available in the name column of the table a and the table b okay then again go to this modeling view and here you can see this is the bridge table that we have created right all right and now just click on this particular link okay then right click on it and delete it then click on yes and remove the relationship between table a and table b okay then just drag the name column of the table a and drop it in the name column of the bridge table all right and here you can see we have successfully created a relationship between the table a and the bridge table with star to one and the key many to one right same way here also again we will drag the name column of the table b and drop it on the name column of the bridge table and here also you can see we have created a many to one relationship between this table b and the bridge table okay so what is the advantages of creating this bridge table in between these two table now we can easily handle many to many relationship problem okay apart from this also we can reduce the complexity of the data model all right and also we can make it easier to query and report on the data it means now we can easily create different charts and visualizations based on these two different tables okay so now let me delete all the relationship between these three tables along with this intermediate table okay And now you can see here we have only two table that is table A and table B right and if we go to this table view here you can see in the table A we have a column called as a name and here the value are on repeated form right correct so instead of creating a new intermediate table in between this table A and table B we can remove all the duplicates value from any one of this table okay but remember before deleting you have to clarify from your client whether you need to delete all the all the duplicates value from this particular table or not okay otherwise it will be a great problem for you so you have to first clarify whether the data of this particular table is important or not okay so for that just go to this uh, report view then go to the transform data okay then here just select the table a okay then click on this name column then right click on it okay then click on remove duplicates okay so currently we have seven records are there right so if i will click on this remove duplicates then automatically duplicate value will be removed and we can have only four rows okay in the table a but in the table b the data is as it is all right so now you will click on this close and apply then let me go to this modeling view okay and now if i will drag the name column from table a and if i will drop it in the name column of the table b it will create one too many relationship right because in the table b the name column contains the duplicate value but in place of table a we have removed the duplicate value from the name column right so here whatever name are available those are only the distinct value right that's where this table a and table b is connected with one to many relationship now and remember i am telling you again and again before implementing this step it means before deleting the duplicate records from any one of this table you have to make sure that if you will delete those records from that table it should not affect on your report okay so you have to make sure on that before you deleting all those records so these are the two methods by the help of which you can handle many to many relationship during creating of your power bi report all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye